that just, to me, that seems like that date, and you know what comes out a week later, right? Superman Legacy. And it's like, oh, oh, they're doing that thing where they're stacking, they're stacking the, the dates as they do. I just don't see Jurassic World making that date. I won't do that anymore. I know that's annoying. I apologize. Not really. Jurassic World. Can we take a little break? We can't take a little break. I mean, Dominion, didn't Dominion come out last year? And it made over a billion dollars, sure, but not a lot of people really talk about it. Not a lot of people really liked it. It had its moments, but overall, I didn't like it. But now we're just gonna just get a whole new Jurassic World movie and we just heard about this what a couple of weeks ago and now we're getting this new information and now we have a release date that's right guys we have a release date already July 2nd 2025 and of course you know David Coep coming back to write it which was what everybody wanted to hear sure but that just to me that seems like that date and you know what comes out a week later right Superman Legacy. And it's like, oh, oh, they're doing that thing where they're stacking, they're stacking the, the dates as they do. I just don't see Jurassic World making that date. I mean, they don't even have a director. They have a writer, they don't have a, a director. But of course, the rumored director, which is a very interesting one, is David Leitch. That's right. Crazy action director David Leitch. Bullet Train, Deadpool 2, Atomic Blonde. That David Leitch. What? Intriguing because he, he's an action director. So now, I mean, are they just gonna go full on buck wild when it comes to this Jurassic World movie? Are any of the characters prior gonna show up here? You know, something about the Jurassic World trilogy reminds me of the Star Wars sequel trilogy. The first Jurassic World, just like Force Awakens, brought us all back to the franchise, brought us back into the world and they had nostalgia familiar things and then new things okay and it was a good balance okay cool look at that hey and everybody liked it then came the sequel then he came it came a director that was like i'm gonna take a little darker edgier edgier approach what was it something kingdom i forgot even what the second one was called even though i liked it i liked the tone from uh that french director i think french is that yeah and he made a little darker one, and there's some crazy stuff that happened in there with like cloning and stuff like that. Then he had Ryan Johnson with Last Jedi. Then it seemed like they had a course correct a little bit when it came to the third one, just like Rise of Skywalker. They're like, okay, we're gonna jam everybody into this thing and all this story into it and pack it into this last movie and put it out there. It just kind of there's like a there's a parallel there when it comes to the Jurassic World trilogy and the sequel trilogy for Star Wars. I don't know. To me. This seems like it's a little, there's, they're rushing a little bit here. I say David Leitch, don't do it. Don't do it. Do Bullet Train 2 instead. Do that. Wasn't there supposed to be a Bullet Train 2? Wasn't that like already like announced like a while ago? They announced too much stuff. But I thought there was going to be that. Do that. I'd rather have him do a Bullet Train 2 because I really enjoyed the first Bullet Train movie. 